Hey everybody, it's Michael. I'm doing a quick video here on placing a conditional order. So there's a lot of reasons why you would want to place a conditional order. One would be you want to see price come down to a certain level before getting into the trade, but you might not be available to actually place the order. So one way that you can do it is look at what level you want to enter the trade. So this is PayPal. You can see PayPal is right here at the 382 extension and it's above the eight period moving average, which is the yellow line here. And let's just say, for instance, you wanted to enter this trade on a pullback to the eight. So let's just say you're interested in buying a spread in PayPal if and when PayPal comes down to here, to 184. That's kind of where that's kind of where this is, right? So if price comes down to 184, I want to execute this trade. So in TradeStation, you go to PayPal. Let's pull up the options chain and we'll just say for this example, on October 2nd, I want to enter, let's see, it's current price is currently at 186. So if it comes down to 183, I want to place um, an in the money spread. So let's just throw one up here for a second. And let's just call it a, uh, a 180, 185 call spread. Okay, so it's about even money, not quite, but when price comes down, it'll be a little, uh, it'll be less expensive. So this is this, this is these are the strikes that I want. Okay, when it comes down to 183, which is about the eight period moving average, I want to get an in the money call, which is 180, and an out of the money call, shorting it, the out of the money call, which is the 185. And I want to do that when price comes down. So you go over here where it says activation rule. You click on these little three dots. It'll open up a window here, and you've got time and price. So you can do this activation. Say, well, I'd like to order. I'd like to get this thing ordered. You know, right before the close, you know, of the day or right at the open of tomorrow. Or you could just do it based on price, which is what we're going to show you here. So here you have to enter the actual symbol. So we just enter PYPL. Add. And it'll put it right here. Now this says greater than or equal to. So if I move this price down to say 183 half, let's just say that's the price that I want. I don't want greater than or equal to because it already is greater than 183. So you want to change this. If you want price to come down, you've got to change this to less than or equal to. So if price is comes down and it is less than or equal to 183 half, it will execute this trade. All right? And you'll notice that this checkbox is now checked. If you uncheck it, nothing will happen. If you check it, it will put that rule in place and then the duration, you have to change it to good till cancel. That way this trade will stay in the queue with that activation rule until it's hit. Or 30 days, whichever happens sooner. After 30 days, it'll just cancel out. The good till cancel lasts for 30 days. And then you just place the order. It says it's placing it outside because this is after hours. You place yes. And then it'll give you confirmation box and that's when you can check it out so here 292 and here's your activation rule but you might say you know what if it pulls back I don't want to pay that price so let's say no and let's drop the price down let's just say if this is gonna activate let's just say I'm willing to pay how about 250 250 is good I like that here, it's a one to one ratio here. I'll pay 250. This mark, this is checked. Good till cancel. Place the order. Check the confirmation window again, and here it is. Here's the 180, 185 call spread for 250. Good till cancel, and it says activation PayPal less than or equal to 183 half. And then you just go ahead and click on yes, and it queues up your order, and it's in here. So if you go to manage you'll see the order sitting right here, queued, ready to go, vertical, and here it is, waiting to happen. If you ever wanna cancel that order, just right click on it, and then just click cancel order. Or if you wanna change the price, you can do cancel replace, and then just adjust the price. Oh, you know what, I don't wanna pay that much, I only wanna pay 240, 
place it again. We'll give you the confirmation window. Here's the new price of 240. Still has the activation rule. Click yes. And that's it. And it's in there ready to go. And that's how you place a conditional order if you want a price to pull back. Hope that's helpful. See you at the next video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video from Trade With Me Now. Make sure to go ahead and like this video and subscribe to our channel so you make sure that you catch our next video right when it's released. Also, if you have a question or comment, please leave that in the comment section below. And of course, if you want to learn more about Trade With Me Now or join our community of profitable traders, go to tradewithmenow.com. There's also a link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you at the next video.